Science may say no to licks, but the heart says yes to furry friends. Unknown. They greet us with enthusiastic slurps, shower our faces with slobbery kisses, and leave little wet paw prints on our hearts. We love our dogs fiercely, and their affection often comes in the form of, well, licks. But is a dog's wet welcome all it's cracked up to be? We the brave, or perhaps slightly foolish team at your channel name, decided to put this age-old question to the test. Brace yourselves, dog lovers, because the results were eye-opening, to say the least. The mouth behind the muzzle, a bacterial bonanza. Before we dive headfirst into the world of canine kisses, pun intended, let's take a quick science detour. A dog's mouth is a fascinating yet complex ecosystem teeming with bacteria. Some of these bacteria are harmless, helping them digest food and maintain a healthy gut. However, others can be potentially cause mild to serious health problems in humans, especially young children, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. The Great Licking Experiment, a cautionary tale. Now onto the juicy, or should we say slobbery part, the experiment. We recruited a team of five volunteers, all healthy adults, and their furry companions. Our canine cast of characters included Max, the playful golden retriever, with a tongue as enthusiastic as his tail wags. Luna, the stoic German shepherd, whose licks were surprisingly gentle, for a dog her size. Buster, the mischievous beagle, whose wet kisses were always accompanied by a playful wiggle. Penelope, the cuddly pug, whose smooshy face licks were undeniably adorable, but also slightly suffocating. Chiquita, the sprightly chihuahua, whose tiny tongue packed a surprisingly powerful slobber punch. If you have liked the video so far, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your dog-loving friends. Now let's continue with the video and explore the fascinating world of canine affection. The pre-lick baseline, setting the stage. Before any slobber exchanged hands, or rather faces, we took baseline readings of each volunteer's gut health through a simple at-home test. We also recorded their general well-being, noting any pre-existing allergies or sensitivities, unleashing the kisses the sloppy showdown. This was the fun or slightly nauseating part. Each volunteer enjoyed or endured a good five minutes of face and hand licking from their furry friend. It was a symphony of slurps, happy whines, and the occasional grimace from the human participants. Max, the golden retriever, was particularly enthusiastic, leaving a trail of slobber that would make a St. Bernard blush. The post-lick aftermath, did we regret it? After the initial wave of puppy love and maybe a dash of disgust subsided, we revisited our volunteers. We repeated the gut health test and inquired about any changes in their well-being. The shocking results and a disclaimer, here's where things get interesting and perhaps a little alarming. While not everyone experienced a dramatic shift, some volunteers reported mild stomach discomfort and a slight change in their gut bacteria levels compared to the pre-lick baseline. It's important to note that this was a small, non-scientific experiment and the results cannot be generalized to the entire canine population. However, it certainly served as a wake-up call beyond the experiment, risks, and considerations. Now, before you grab the bubble wrap and banish your pup to the backyard, let's talk about the risks in perspective. The chances of getting seriously ill from a dog lick are relatively low for healthy adults. However, there are a few key points to consider. Your dog's health matters. If your dog has recently been scavenging for forbidden treats on their walks, we've all been there, or has an underlying health condition, the bacteria in their mouth can be more concerning. Immune system strength. As we mentioned earlier, young children, the elderly, and people with compromised immune systems are more susceptible to infections from bacteria present in dog saliva. Location, location, location. A lick on your hand is probably less risky than one on an open wound or near your eyes. The verdict, licks with limits. So should you let your dog lick you altogether? It depends. Here's the slightly controversial advice we gleaned from our experiment and some good old research. Shower your dog with love, but maybe not your face. There are plenty of ways to show affection without getting slobbered on. Belly rubs, ear scratches, and playful games are all excellent options. These activities strengthen the bond with your dog without the potential health risks. Hygiene is key. Practice good hygiene and wash your hands thoroughly after interacting with your dog, especially after walks or playtime. This helps minimize the transfer of any bacteria from your pup to you. Know your dog. Pay attention to your dog's health and behavior. If they've been rolling in something questionable, like a dead fish in the park, a classic canine move, maybe hold off on the kisses for a while. A quick sniff test can often be a good indicator. 
If their latest adventure involved something particularly pungent, it's best to err on the side of caution. Listen to your body. If you experience any discomfort after interacting with your dog, consult a doctor. While a slight tummy ache might not be a cause for major concern, it's always best to be safe and get checked out, especially if the discomfort persists. Living in harmony with your canine companion, the bond between humans and dogs is undeniable. While the occasional lick might seem harmless, understanding the potential risks allows us to make informed decisions about our interactions with our furry companions. Remember, it's all about striking a balance Shower your dog with love, but maybe keep the face licks to a minimum. Alternative ways to show your dog you care. Let's face it, some dogs are just natural-born smoochers. If your pup insists on showering you with affection the only way they know how, there are ways to redirect their enthusiasm. Treat time. Turn those licks into a positive training opportunity. Reward your dog with a healthy treat when they offer a polite sit or down instead of a sloppy kiss. Interactive toys. Engage your dog's mind and energy with interactive toys that dispense treats or make squeaky sounds. This provides mental stimulation for your pup and keeps them occupied. Go for a walk. Sometimes, a good walk is all it takes to tire out a dog and redirect their attention. Fresh air, exercise, and sniffing adventures are a great way to bond with your furry friend and leave them feeling happy and relaxed. Of course, there's no denying the sheer adorableness of a puppy shower you and enthusiastic licks. If you simply can't resist the occasional slobbery display of affection, just remember to prioritize hygiene afterwards. A quick hand washing or a post-kiss face wipe can go a long way in minimizing any potential risks. Ultimately, the choice of whether or not to allow dog licks is a personal one. By understanding the science behind the slobber and implementing some simple safety measures, you can continue to enjoy the unconditional love and goofy antics that our canine companions bring to our lives. The final wag a celebration of the human-dog bond. From the bustling streets of ancient Rome, where dogs were revered companions, to the cozy living rooms of today, the human-dog bond has transcended time and culture. These furry friends offer unwavering loyalty, endless entertainment, and a warmth that melts away even the toughest days. While a dog's enthusiastic lick might be their way of expressing affection, understanding the potential for bacterial transfer empowers us to make informed choices about our interactions. Remember, a playful game of fetch, a gentle ear scratch, or even a loving head pat can communicate the same level of affection without the slobber. So, the next time your canine companion leans in for a kiss, consider offering an alternative, a treat earned through good behavior, a walk in the park to explore new scents, or simply a moment of quiet cuddling. After all, a happy, healthy dog and a clean human face are the perfect recipe for a long and loving friendship. Did you enjoy the content? Please support the channel by clicking the subscribe and share buttons. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on dog licks. Do you have any funny or maybe slightly gross stories about canine kisses? We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy petting, happy training, and happy living with your furry best friend.